Stephen K. Bannon's Breitbart News often accuses the media of reporting fake news, but the former White House chief strategist says the news media has something right, its depiction of him. Here's an excerpt of an interview Bannon gave to CBS, which will air Sunday on 60 Minutes, Charlie Rose, so how do you want to be perceived, you today? Because you have a media image. Bannon, the media image, I think, is pretty accurate. I'm a street fighter. What an answer. Let's get one thing straight this is not a pat on the back for accurate reporting. This is gloating. This is Bannon declaring that he has successfully cultivated the public persona that he wants. Rose's question was a gentle way of noting that Bannon is frequently cast as a villain, a man who has said his website is the platform for the alt right, a small, far right movement that seeks a whites only state yet who has somehow insinuated himself into the top echelon of political power, even now that he is out of the White House. A book about Bannon and President Trump, by Bloomberg News reporter Joshua Green, has been on the New York Times bestsellers list for six straight weeks. It's called Devil's Bargain. Meanwhile, Politico just ranked Bannon number one on a list of 50 people and ideas blowing up American politics. If Bannon felt he was misunderstood, this was his opportunity to say so. Instead, he endorsed the media's portrayal of him, and did so on 60 Minutes, the most establishment news program in America. On Wednesday, the day that Bannon sat down with Rose, the Daily Mail's David Martasco, whom Trump considered as a potential press secretary, quoted an unnamed White House official, who said, For someone who liked to trash talk the media, Bannon sure is kissing up to them a lot, no. This official doesn't get it. Bannon isn't kissing up, he's drooling. He's telling the rest of the media, on one of the media's biggest platforms, that they have played right into his hands by building him up as a kind of rogue figure, which only amplifies his popularity with Breitbart's target audience. In classic form, Bannon used the occasion of his 60 Minutes interview to say something provocatively in character. Rose, can I remind you, a good Catholic, that Cardinal, Timothy, Dolan is opposed to what's happened with Duca. Cardinal Dolan. Bannon, the Catholic Church has been terrible about this. Rose, OK. Bannon, the bishops have been terrible about this. By the way, you know why? You know why? Because, they have been, unable to really, to, to, to come to grips with the problems in the church, they need illegal aliens, they need illegal aliens to fill the churches. That's, it's obvious on the face of it. That's what, the entire Catholic bishops condemn him, they have, they have an economic interest. They have an economic interest in unlimited immigration, unlimited illegal immigration. And as much as, Rose, boy, that's a tough thing to say about your church. Bannon, as much as I respect Cardinal Dolan and the bishops on doctrine, this is not doctrine. This is not doctrine at all. I totally respect the Pope and I totally respect the Catholic bishops and cardinals on doctrine. This is not about doctrine. This is about the sovereignty of a nation. And in that regard, they're just another guy with an opinion. A conservative like Bannon casting aspersions on the Catholic Church's ostensibly virtuous motive. What is he thinking? Then again, what was Trump thinking last year, when he feuded with the Pope? Bannon, like Trump, is not a traditional conservative. More than anything, he is an anti-establishment outsider, and picking a fight with Dolan, just another guy with an opinion, is one more way to solidify Bannon's image, the image the media has presented accurately.